lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So quickly, let us discuss this hair situation. Apologies about this. Basically, I have had my hair, as you can imagine, blow dried and curled and pinned up because I'm going away tomorrow. But what I wanted to quickly mention about my hair is that I have, for the first time, got some bonded extensions put in. So I have used clip-ins for a number of years now and I love clip-ins. I feel like they're quick and easy to add in. But for my wedding and the fact that we were doing um, an abroad wedding and there's going to be like pretty much a week of different things um, later on this summer, I thought I wanted to trial bonded extensions so that each day um, it's not necessarily going to be as, as difficult to like style my hair because I know the bonded extensions are going to hold the curl like longer or the style is, is going to retain for longer. So um, long story short, last week I got them put in and I've been loving them so far. I love the fact that the, the, the hair was curled the day that I got them put in and it like stayed curled for like four or five days. Um, so basically that is why I got these rollers in because we are leaving tomorrow and I just thought if I get my hair blown dried and curled then that is good for pretty much the, the trip really because we're only going well we're going away for six nights but I'll see how I get on but this this is why it's like this and I didn't actually quite think things through about when I was filming this. So anyway today's video is a little pack with me as I'm off to Canada tomorrow I am so so excited I'm gonna, now that, by the time this is uploaded, this won't be a secret anymore, so I can talk about it. Basically, one of the reasons, it's, it's not the only reason, but one of the reasons I wanted to go over to Canada is because I want to ask my cousin Carla to be a bridesmaid at my wedding. I had mulled over asking her over FaceTime for a while, and I, because I asked the, the other girls before Christmas, sort of November, December time, so it has been a little bit later, I did think, should I just ask her over FaceTime? But then when there was the opportunity to maybe go over and visit them, I thought I'm gonna hold out and, and just wait because I, I have been wanting to do this for so long and yeah, it has been hard not um, just sort of blurting it out or asking her, um, but yeah, that is one of the reasons. So basically tomorrow, all going well with the flight and everything, we should be catching up and I will be able to ask her. What I'm gonna quickly just do is show you the little bridesmaid bag and gift that I put together for each of the girls. So it's actually quite nice that I'm asking someone slightly later as it meant, it's meant I've still got one of the like little gifts together and I can show you. So first of all, what I did was I got for everyone personalized cards from Etsy. I feel like if you're doing anything like this Etsy is just your like number one place to go. So what I was able to do was pick out a card that had hairstyles, um, you can pick the colours that are similar to each person. So this is the one for Carla, so it's like blonde hair, we're holding a little champagne glass which I think is really cute and it says up at the top her name, like so you can have your bridesmaids names and then will you be my bridesmaid. This, I just thought I would ch chat through this in case anyone is looking for ideas because I have had a few messages about what did I do, how did I ask, um, although I did share some, some stories, I didn't fully go into exactly what I did. So the first thing that I sort of put together or like not, not the main thing but I guess the most personal thing was a little mini champagne since we're getting married in France and I got photos printed in this sort of like retro style of each of the girls like me and them together and then just a little um, peg holding it together so yeah it's a little pink moet with us together on there and I just bought rib ribbon from Amazon I decided to go for two colours because I think it's quite nice when you can see them like two-tone like that tied it around the bottle popped it in and I also got some champagne truffles from Charbonnel and Walker one of my favourite chocolate companies and a lip gloss from Dior. I wanted to go with Dior because again, it's a French brand. Uh, I really love Dior and I'm considering wearing Dior perfume on the day. So I thought that's quite nice. And you can actually get their lip glosses personalized. So this is not gonna show up on camera. I'll maybe do a close up, but basically it has each of the girls names engraved on it. So that is like a nice little touch, just personalized. And you know, it's not over the top and it's, it's little things that they will be able to use. There's nothing like totally impractical or too gimmicky. 
Um, I also just ordered this sort of paper from Amazon, I think it was as well. And then the bag itself, which they, I got them all per personalized. So my sister who's maid of honor, hers said maid of honor. And then I asked Jack's sister to be a head bridesmaid, which I kind of made that up, um, <laughs> that title, but I wanted her to feel, um, you know, just, just as involved as Lauren, but, but with Lauren being maid of honor, I wasn't sure if there was like another name. So I just decided with head bridesmaid, but you could also just have what I've got here, bridesmaid, the name and the little ribbon. I think it's all very cute. So this was Etsy as well. So that is all going to be going in the case with me, but on to what I'm packing. <laughs> so the weather actually, actually over there is pretty wild. Um, Carla has sent me pictures and they have got so much snow. So I have really been warned, Leslie, pack practically. And I, I'm queen of impracticality. My shoes are always sore and too high and not right. I'm always cold or <laughs> just not dressed appropriately. So I am genuinely trying with this trip because it's, it's a family visit. It's not like we're going to be going out and about loads, you know, doing, go, going to loads of different places. So let us try to pack practically. So first thing I'm going to pack is pajamas because uh, so Jack and I got um, an ottoman bed earlier. Was it last year we got this? Yeah, so basically the bed that like lifts up and it's so good for storage because we were in a one bedroom flat. The, re the storage is so minimal. Um, but yeah, I keep forgetting what stuff's under there. And I found my pajamas that these ones that I believe were my 30th, for my 30th birthday, which I haven't even worn them, which I'm like, oh my God. So I feel like these are really cute to take on like a family trip because we're staying with family. They're really nice, cozy. So these are the first things that's going in the case. I mean, how cute is this? I can't believe I haven't worn them. I do remember thinking I'm gonna save these because I don't wanna get them covered in fake tan. That is probably gonna happen with me anyway, but yeah, maybe if I save them just for holidays and not all, all the time, then it'll keep them nice and new. So this is the first thing that's going in the case. Okay, so moving into clothes, I bought these like like leather leggings from, I think it was Depop I got them. Um, so Freddie has these, she wore them, there's like a lovely snowy shot she did and she's wearing these. So I'm thinking these are quite a good thing to take. They are actually, they're not fleece lined, but they're kind of furry on the inside or oh, not really furry, but it's soft and, and warm on the inside. So I'm thinking, these could be a good shout with now maybe like with a roll neck underneath um this zara cable knit faux fur cardigan so this is what i'm thinking i feel like just because it's it's cold and it's snowy doesn't mean we can't still bring a bit of glam so i'm wondering how this is going to look together the issue is the shoes because if we were going skiing, I would take my moon boots, my <laughs> retro moon boots, but I feel like that's a bit much. I don't know. I do have actually very similar boots to the ones Freddie wears in that shot. They're like Sorel boots. They're cream, but I, I do not know where they are. I think they're at my dad's house somewhere. So mm, I do have like the brown chestnut Ugg boots, but I just don't know if that's going to look a bit bizarre. But anyway, I think this is a good outfit to take anyway so that is going to be next going in the case so I was actually very kindly sent some pieces from Chickwish so I'm going to include them in the case so that I can maybe get some content whilst we're there this jumper I feel like this is the right vibe anyway so it's like a nice cream cable knit jumper kind of puff sleeves I think this is very cute and actually really cozy so this I'm going to pop in I'm thinking I could pair this maybe with white jeans. Mm, yeah, or maybe like a little skirt and some tights. <laughs> I am gonna take some skirts. So this jumper is going in and then this coat, this is so cute. It's actually more of a cape. To me, it's very Blair Waldorf, something like her skating rink outfit. So it has, yeah, it has like, just gaps here for your arms to come through, but you could obviously like just keep them in and keep the warmth in. I think this is so cute. Maybe I will wear this traveling so that it's not so bulky in the case. But yeah, keep an eye out for some content in this cape. 
I feel like this is so winter wonderland. I love that. So that's definitely going in. Um, Chickwish also sent me this blazer, but I'm not thinking I'm going to take it just because I, I think it's probably just a bit too spring summery. I mean, unless I was to take roll necks and put them underneath. It's this little blazer here, which is very chic, very cute, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll maybe leave that one for just now. I'm thinking this is one of the skirts that I'll take with me because I can wear this with like the wee jumper that I just showed you. I feel like this is quite a cute outfit. Is this gonna go? Oh, maybe the tones are a wee bit too different. It's hard to tell on camera, but yes, I feel like I can mix and match a few different things with this. Also, the Zara jumper I've worn with this skirt before, I think, so that will definitely go. Um, and then like the white tights and then my white boots. I cannot go on a trip without these boots. So, sorry, these are coming. Yeah, just in case. I mean, I know you will have seen them, but my white boots from Boohoo, these are getting quite well worn now. I am on the market for a new pair, but they're keeping on going at the minute. Um, right, that's that. So definitely this little skirt. And do you know what? I'm so excited that I'm going to take with me. After me talking about wanting to go on a wintry ski holiday again, although we won't be skiing, I can take my Nora Cora jumper. Although it's inside out, two seconds. This one, I love this jumper. I've been wearing it so much on just like walks or I think Jack and I, did we go somewhere? I feel like we went out for coffee and I ended up wearing it. I just have been loving this, so I'm taking this. Even though it has a slight festive look to it, I think when it's snowing, you can get away with it. So that is definitely going in. What else? I'm not gonna pack anything too fancy because I don't really feel like there's gonna be opportunities for like very glam dinner dinners out. Even we will be in Toronto for like one evening, but I don't think, it, we meet my dad and Jack all together. So <laughs> like we're not gonna be having like a date night. So. Um, a couple of things I've pulled out over here. This skirt, which I just love wearing. Um, this, it's actually a kilt. And I know it looks so similar to the Burberry check, but I need to Google this because to be fair, I don't know the history completely. But this is like a tartan, like an official Scottish tartan. So it has a name, which is, is it Thomas Campbell? Or Campbell Thomas. It's one way around, but I'm pretty sure this was first before the Burberry check. Don't quote me on that one. Anyway, I don't like, to, it's not like a fake Burberry. It's, it's actually like a Scottish kilt. Like it's, like this is how it is. So do you know what? I'll Google it and I will add it in if I, if I remember to. This I want to take, and again, I feel like this, that is cute. That is a cute wintry outfit. So I will probably take my black boots. Okay, so these are coming with me as well. These are my Marks and Spencers ones that I bought just about Christmas time, or I think it was November maybe, just before Christmas. I am loving these boots. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, see if you're walking a lot, they are a bit uncomfortable. Weirdly, like right in the middle of your foot, there's like a weird bump in the sole or something. Apart from that, I have been loving them because they're like a soft, supple leather. They're like durable. The heels, like reasonable but I just I just feel like this is such a classic boot so to me this is an outfit we can definitely put together something a black roll neck for me is it's just a staple it's got to go in again for Marks and Spencer's one that I've had for years so that is going in I think that could be you can see that coming together that's a little outfit all together there and that's the type of thing, if we are going out for dinner, I'll wear something like that. This dress, I wanted to take this. I think it was New York. I wanted to take it to And in the end, sorry, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> God. <sighs> it's the weight of keeping my head up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like rushing. This dress here, which is Urban Revivo. Again, this was very kindly sent to me. Um, I think this is very cute. And I feel like you could get away with either the white boots or, or the black boots. So I'm thinking I'll put this in as one of the more, I don't know, slightly fancier outfits. I'm going to have a look for more jumpers, I think. So I'm thinking this jumper is quite a sensible one to take. This is this Ralph Lauren one. You might remember I bought it at Bister. Um, I have loved wearing this jumper. It's so, so cozy. And I don't feel like 
too bumpled up in it. So I think that is a sensible choice and I genuinely am trying to be sensible with my decisions in this video. Another wee skirt that I'm considering popping in is this little tartan one because it's actually a nicer length. It's a little bit longer. It's quite warm feeling actually. It's warmer than some of my other skirts. Like it's got more lining to it. And again, I feel like this could go with this jumper. I feel like this could be a nice outfit. Plus, you know, we're representing Scotland. So I think I'll pop that one in. Ooh, trying to think what else I want to put in. Um, so I've decided I'm gonna put this outfit in because I absolutely love this look and I took it to London and then I didn't end up wearing it or I, I literally had it on for like a morning and it was in my stomach was really, really sore and I just had to take off. And I ended up going to H&M and buying leggings and a jumper because I was in that much pain. With my stomach, I needed something loose. So I'm going to pop this in because again, with white tights, white boots, and then even like the cape, I know it maybe is a little bit much, but when you're on holiday, you do have to sometimes try and overlap outfits a little bit. Um, trying to think what else I should put in. This is me bordering into the unpractical again, but I want to take this little skirt with me because it's again, such a staple piece. I wear it so much and there's just so many items that I can pair with it. So again, the white tights, the white boots, I feel like I'm still going to be okay. Like when Jack and I went to New York, I feel like what I did was I wore my sort of outfits and I layered up as much as possible. And then once you've got a big coat on, you're actually okay. And you just have to wear that over the blazer or whatever else you're wearing. Obviously the snow seems to be like really, really deep. So that's where it might be impractical, but yeah, I have, I feel like I've got outfits enough for each eventuality. So I'm quickly going to mention some accessories just while I'm having a think about the clothes. I'm going to take my Prada Galleria bag because to be honest this is just the main bag that I use for trips. I just find it so so handy the size of it and it goes with so so much. I don't need to worry too much about like what outfits I'm, I'm taking and, and you know matching a handbag. I just feel like it's so so versatile. What I will also probably do is what I've been doing recently when traveling is, bear with me, take my Louis Vuitton Neverfull and then put the Galleria inside. And it means you then have your two handbags, you're traveling with them like uh, as um, carry on. You don't need to stress about where they are and yeah, it means you've got two bags. So if I need like a bigger bag, like one of the days in Canada, I can use this one. And then for anything else, I've got the Galleria. To be honest, I'm not thinking I will take any more bags than that. I don't think there is a need. So yeah, I'll probably just leave it there with the bags. So I've added in my jeans and a couple of vest tops, but to be honest, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and leave it there just because I'm such an overpacker. <sighs> um, yeah, <laughs> one little skirt I might put in is this one that I got from Zara. Again, I mean, I know it's not practical, but like, like I said, with, with the layers, I feel like I could get away with it. And with a big long coat, you're fine. So I think I'll probably just wrap up the video there. I So I did actually do a Zara order. I'm not sure if there's anything I ordered is gonna be suitable to take. I was gonna do a separate video for that anyway, like a Zara haul once I'm back. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll have a look through, see if there's anything that's worthwhile taking, but I'm gonna film that when I'm back anyway. So a Zara haul is coming to the channel very soon. But that is, yeah, I guess the end of today's video. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna vlog the trip because it's like a family visit. I'm not sure if vlogging makes sense, but I will do what I can if I do decide to vlog it. Cause we might go to Niagara Falls, Niagara the Lake, which is beautiful. So we'll see how we get on. But thank you again for watching. Let me know what you thought of my packing choices. I will let you know if it turns out I pra was practical or not. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.